Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today we're going to customize our buttons in Squarespace. This one's really easy and super fun, so let's just dive right in. Okay, so I'm just on a trial 7.1 site and I'm going to add a button block. Now, your site might look a little bit different than this. I'm currently using the Fluid Engine. You could be on the Classic Editor, which looks a little different. Doesn't matter, the buttons still work almost the same. There's a little difference that I'm gonna go over at the end, but if we're talking about the button designs, that's all the same. So here on my site, when I add a button, I can hover over this drop down, and it gives me the options of primary, secondary, or tertiary buttons. So these are the designs that we're gonna to edit today. If your site looks a little bit different than this and you don't have this drop down, all you need to do is double click on your button or click on the little edit icon that shows up and click on design and you'll have those same primary, secondary and tertiary button options. So if I click on it, you'll see that it will probably slightly change depending on what settings you already have set up. Maybe it actually won't change, but what I'm gonna do before we edit the settings of all of these three buttons is I'm gonna add all three of them to my page. So then when we go to edit the settings, we can see the exact changes that we're making live on the page. So I'm gonna add a primary. I'm going to add a secondary. And I'm going to add a tertiary button. Okay, so I have my three buttons lined up on the page. It doesn't really matter where they are or how they look. If you are using Fluid Engine, I have also set my buttons to fit just for now. I'm gonna dive into what this actually means later on. But if you do have this option, change them to fit for now so we can adjust the button padding settings. And then I'm gonna go into what the fit and fill are at the end of this video. So they're just here so we can see them. I'm gonna click save on the page. Then I'm gonna click on design, site styles, and we're going to come down to buttons here. Now you can see instantly we have options for primary, secondary, and tertiary. So this is pretty self-explanatory and this is where you edit all of the settings for each of your buttons. You can change the text, which is the font, style, weight, the size, spacing, and the uppercase or lowercase transformation. So lots to play around with in the font there. You can see this is my primary button, which has this font here. Now on your website, if you go back into fonts, you probably have your fonts all set up in here. So if then I go back into buttons, you can see when I go into the fonts section, It'll pull the main fonts that are chosen in the font pack, but you can also click on browse all fonts and choose something completely different if you wanted to. I would probably recommend going with something that you're already using around your site, but that is how you access all fonts for your buttons. So where it gets really fun is these settings here. Shape, if you click on shape, you're going to have the option of squared off, rounded corners, or this pill shape. You've got an oval shape, a simple underline, and then this leaf shape as well. Then from there, you can even do custom corners. So you can choose which corners have which type of radius, which is really cool as well. You also have fill, no fill. So right now mine is set to no fill, which just has this simple outline, and it means that it's transparent in the background. If I scroll up to the top of my page, you can see what this means because there's actually a background image here. So you can see that there's no background until I hover over the button. Now, if I go and change the shape to fill, it's going to fill the background with a color and I will touch on how to change the colors in the next section. And then when you hover, it just fades the button slightly. So if I scroll up, you can see now that we have the background color and the button is just fading. It still has an outline, so this one actually does have an outline. It's probably just white, so we can't see it. This one is black. You can adjust that here if you just want a simple color block button. So really there's just lots you can play around with and a ton of options. If you've been using Squarespace for a while, it's a lot more than there used to be, so it's really good. Now at the bottom here, you can adjust your button padding. So this is quite important depending on what size you want your buttons to be. The size really is made up of how big your font is and how much padding you have. So if we go back into font, I can adjust the font size. I'm just gonna use this little slider here. And you can see that overall makes my button smaller when I make the font smaller. But you can also play around with the padding. So this is the space between the text and the edge of the button. So you can see this is increasing my padding on these buttons. I'm gonna take it back down because I think it looked better before. 
but this is quite important and really depends what you want to do with that button, how much padding you have on it. So play around with that until you're happy. And then of course you can do the exact same for secondary and tertiary. Or if you did just want them to be all the same for some reason, you could just click apply to all button types and it's going to carry over those exact same design settings for all three buttons. Now the colors are separate. Like I said, I'm going to get onto that soon. So if you did want the same font and outline design, you could do this and you could still have separate colors. So that might be a reason you want to have all of the same design. You just want to have the same design and separate colors for those three different types of buttons. And I'll show you how to do that soon. Now there are lots of design options here. So I just want to do a quick disclaimer that although you can do three completely separate buttons, we do recommend keeping the similar theme throughout the buttons. So either having the same design and maybe a slightly bigger or smaller button, or the same design with a different color for each button. Basically, you just wanna make sure all of your buttons are still cohesive. They can be different, but you want them to look like they belong on the same website together still. So don't get too carried away with all of the design differences. Okay, so I just quickly tweaked that secondary button and let's say I'm happy with my three button designs now. Now I just want to edit the colors for them. So the colors for your buttons work the same as all colors around your Squarespace 7.1 site. If you've used 7.1 before and you have experience with colors, you'll probably know the drill here, but let me explain 7.1 colors to you anyway. So you change all of your main site-wide colors in your site styles in the same place we did the buttons. So click on colors. You can adjust your main palette here when you first set up your site. So you're gonna have five colors. One is usually a light white color and one is usually a black or dark color. And when you input your colors into that palette, it's going to give you all of these different color palettes. Now, mine has been adjusted. You can see some different colors here that aren't actually in my palette because I've actually gone through and edited the color themes individually. And you'll wanna do that for your buttons if you want to. So on your 7.1 page, it's made up of different sections and your sections all can have their own color themes. So these are the color themes and you can see over each section, it tells you which color theme it's set to. So my first section is set to darkest one. My second section is set to lightest one. And you can see instantly the buttons are different colors. So these are this pink color with black and these are black and white. So you can actually set different colors for every single one of your themes if you want to. If you've inputted your palette in here, it's likely that Squarespace has kind of chosen the right colors or similar colors to what you want already and spread them throughout those themes. But if you do want to customize them further, then all you need to do is click on the little edit button of whatever color theme you want to change. So let's say I want to update this lightest one theme you'll want to find your button section. So here it says button and you can change the primary button and the button text, secondary and tertiary. So you can either choose a color from your palette or you can get, again, go super custom and choose something else. So I'm going to choose a color from the palette for my primary, for my secondary, I'm going to choose this purple color and for my tertiary, I'm going to choose and I'll just leave tertiary as black. So now you can see we've got three different button colors in the same lightest one section. You can also update the text. So for the primary, I'm gonna change the text to dark. And you can see that the text doesn't actually update until it's hovered over. This is just how it works for the no fill button. So for that no fill button, the text color that you set here in the site styles is what's gonna show when you hover over. For the secondary button, I did a fill instead of a no fill. So the text will actually change straight away instead of for the hover. So that's how those two different buttons work with colors. And that's how you set up your button colors for all of your different themes. So you can see here in the darkest one, I've got this pink color. So I'm gonna go back into my themes, go into darkest one, scroll down to the buttons again, and you'll see that Squarespace has just automatically set all of these ones as my third color in my palette. So lots of options for colors because you do have all of these different color themes to choose from. I'm just gonna save my changes and quickly show you how to actually apply those color palettes to your sections. So when you're editing your page, whether you're in 7.1 Fluid Engine or Classic Editor, you can click edit section on your section 
click the colors tab and you can choose which color theme you want for that specific section. So you can toggle through them and you'll see the button colors will change depending on the color theme you've chosen. Now the last thing I wanted to quickly go over was the difference between those fit and fill buttons that I touched on at the very beginning. This is a Fluid Engine specialty. Fluid Engine is Squarespace's new editor. So if you are using the classic editor, you won't see this grid here and your button and blocks will work much differently than they do here. So don't worry so much about this if you're using the classic editor. If you are using Fluid Engine and your buttons look like this and you can drag them around like this, then it's important to know the difference between fit or fill. So when you open up the settings for the buttons under design, you have your three button styles, but you also have fit or fill settings. So essentially, if you choose fit, it's going to use the exact settings that you put in those site styles that we were just working on. So remember how we adjusted the padding it's going to use that padding and it's just going to fit the button with your chosen settings within the container. So it doesn't matter how big I make this container, the button's just going to fit nicely inside using those settings that you've already chosen. Because of this, you can also align the button left or right within however big that container is. So now on the flip side, if we choose fill, the button's actually going to completely fill up whatever container size you choose. So you can see if I make it that big, that's how big the button's gonna be. And essentially it's not listening to any of that padding that you set up in your site styles. So this is quite cool as you can have totally different uses for your buttons. If you wanted to do something super custom sized, then you could do that using this fill and then you can still use the fit elsewhere throughout the site. So that's just a little side note and important to know if you are using Fluid Engine, the difference between those two design settings for your buttons. I hope that was helpful. I'm loving this new Squarespace button design settings. You can get super custom on them. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Keep an eye out for more and I will see you in the next one.